most Americans will outlive their money for three reasons. In this episode, I'm going to share with you and answer the question, what does the average American have saved for retirement? You're going to be shocked. Not near enough, but I'm going to show you how you can have a lot more. My name's Doug Andrew. What do I know? Well, I've been a financial strategist and retirement planning specialist for more than 45 years. So I've seen thousands of people's financial statements, IRA and 401k accounts and what have you. Would you prefer that I be honest or gentle? Now, most people I ask that question to say, uh, honest. Now this may not be gentle, but most Americans are financial jellyfish and they don't save enough money. And frankly, most Americans consume, consume, consume. And then they start thinking about retirement when they're 55 years old. And somehow they now have to make up for all the time they didn't save because they were buying jet skis and uh, they were borrowing the equity out of their house. And you can see equity lines of credit darting all over the lakes in the summertime uh, in the form of boats and jet skis and in the wintertime in the form of snowmobiles because people do not discipline themselves. Sometimes people think, well, <clears throat> how much should I save? And I go, mm, how soon do you want to retire? How comfortably do you want to retire? And so I go, if you want to retire in 25 or 30 years and have your money earning more than you do and maintain the same lifestyle or greater, you need to sock away 20 to 30% of your income. What? How could I ever get by? You've got to learn to live on less than what you earn. Okay. Most people, they maybe participate in the company's 401k and the employer matches 50 cents on the dollar on the first 6%. And so they, they put in 6%. Now, I agree. I would never contribute more than what your employer is being matched. But a lot of people, maybe they think, well, I'm going to contribute more. Don't put it in the company's 401k. I'm going to show you what's better. But a lot of people, that's all they do. And then they expect to retire in 20, 25 years and they wonder why they don't have the money. They put it in the market and they watch their money drop down 40%. That happened twice in the worst decade since the Great Depression, 2000 to 2010. Do you know a lot of clients following the strategies I'm going to share with you tripled their money from 2000 to 2012? A million, if they had a million dollar nest egg in the year 2000, they didn't lose a dime after 9-11. They didn't lose a dime in 2008. They may not have made much of anything that those years, but they didn't lose. And their million was worth 3 million off times at the end of 2012. Do you know most Americans? They watched a million dollar nest egg dwindle down to 600,000 from 2001 to 2003. It took four years to get back what they lost. They had to put off retirement seven years if they were ready to retire. Then in one single year, 2008, it dropped 40% again. And it took four years till 2012 to just get back their million. In the meantime, clients following our strategies had 3 million. This is the real deal, folks. So you need to discipline yourself. If you want to retire sooner than later, learn to sock away 10, 15, 20%, 30%. If you sock away only 10% of your income, you probably won't be able to retire comfortably. And when I say comfortably, most people tell me, well, with the same lifestyle that I had. Now I had a critic who watched one of my YouTubes on this channel. And uh, he emailed me and he said, Mr. Andrew, uh, I do not believe that most Americans are in as higher, higher tax brackets when they retire than when they earn money. And I go, well, why do you believe that? He says, well, because I earn $200,000 a year and with what I've saved, I'll only have 50,000 a year. Yeah. See, he falls in with the, the masses. He hasn't saved very much. If you haven't saved very much, you're probably not going to be in a higher tax bracket. But most Americans who work 30 or 40 years, if they have a respectable retirement nest egg and they've been saving seriously, 
are going to be in as high or higher tax brackets as they were ever in when they were teaching school or working or a police officer because they've been killing their deductions along the way. They've been going down the highway with one foot on the gas pedal and the other foot on the brake pedal and they didn't know they were doing it. Now, I would not recommend going down the highway with one foot on the gas and the other foot on the brake, but before I explain that, if this is intriguing you and you know people who are socking away money in traditional accounts like IRAs and 401ks in the market, share this video with them. Uh, hit subscribe and learn more because I have hundreds of educational videos to empower people like you. But I'm going to, at the end of this video, invite you to claim your free copy of my most recent best-selling 300-page book, The Laser Fund. So stay with me here. The foot on the gas is people uh, putting money in tax-deferred accounts like IRAs or 401ks. The foot on the brake is uh, killing their tax deductions. Most people pay off their house the wrong way. They kill that deduction. They no longer have that deduction in retirement. Uh, their kids are now gone or if they're not gone. If your adult children move back, you can't deduct them anymore, okay? Uh, most retirees are not contributing money to IRAs or 401k, so they don't have those deductions. If you're a business owner, you don't have those deductions. And Congress keeps raising taxes because government revenuers keep wanting to initiate all kinds of things like free college tuition, Medicare for all. That's gonna cost a hundred trillion bucks in the next 10 years. Divide that hundred trillion by 10, that's an extra 10 trillion a year that the government needs to raise in tax revenue. Do you know that's twice as much as the IRS collects in taxes in an entire year right now? Hello? Taxes are gonna be higher in the future. And so people uh, hit retirement and then they continue through their golden years with one foot on the gas and the other foot on the brake because they don't have any deductions anymore. Folks, I want you to learn how you can have dramatically more net spendable income, how to have a comfortable retirement because the average American will outlive their money due to three dangers, taxes, inflation, and market volatility. So I would recommend if you are worried about outliving your money, make yourself immune from taxes. So you convert your IRAs or 401ks to tax-free accounts. Now, you do have to get the taxes over with, but I've helped many, many people do that with very little tax impact by using tax strategies. You then take that after-tax money from your IRAs or 401ks, you strategically rolled out maybe over a five-year period, and you put them into a tax-free portfolio. My favorite vehicle I call the laser fund. It's totally tax-free. And when you ultimately pass away, 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road, it blossoms and transfers tax-free, reimbursing your spouse, your children, uh, with many-fold the amount that you paid in tax by doing the rollout. When you read these stories, you're going to be going, oh my heavens, uh, I didn't know you could do this. And so you can get by with a smaller nest egg and not outlive your money. Or if you have a nice nest egg, instead of giving a third of it to the government forever and having inflation uh, reduce uh, the, the purchasing power of those dollars every seven to 10 years, because at the current rates of inflation, uh, at 7%, the cost of living will double every 10 years. At 10%, it doubles every seven years. That means... If you could get by on 50 grand a year, in about seven to 10 years, you're gonna need 100,000 a year to buy the same gallons of gas and loaves of bread you could have bought with 50,000 10 years earlier. That means in 20 years, you're gonna need 200,000 to buy what 50,000 bought 20 years earlier because it keeps doubling. So I want to empower you to make yourself immune from taxes, inflation, and market volatility. It's sort of like the difference between a battery and a generator. See, most people, most advisors, try to charge up a retirement battery, so to speak, with your IRA and 401k accounts in the market, hoping that uh, that battery that's generating retirement income won't go dead before you do. The problem is there's three things that short out that retirement battery, taxes, inflation and market volatility that makes people run out of money. Their nest egg dies. 
I like to empower people with a generator. See, a generator can generate income for as long as you live because I can do it with less money. A million dollars can generate 60 to 100,000 a year of tax-free income forever, tax-free. Most Americans with their money in the market, they don't want to outlive their money. They only pull out 40,000, 4% because that's what the financial services industry standard is. You pull out 40,000, you pay tax, you only net 30,000. I pull out 90,000 and it's all tax free. How much more is 90,000 than 30,000? It's three times the income and it generates it forever. And when I die, it increases in value. How does all this work? Well, my favorite vehicle to accomplish this and eliminate those dangers is what I call the laser fund. So the answer to the question, how much does the average American have saved for retirement? If they've been putting their money in traditional IRAs and 401ks, sadly, it's only about 500,000 to a million. If you understand what I've been saying, if you had the same 500,000 or a million in my favorite vehicle, the laser fund, a million can generate 60,000, 80,000, 100,000 a year of tax-free income. If you have a million in IRAs and 401ks in the market, it's only going to generate about 40,000 of income. And if you can't live on that, if you have to pull out 80, you're only going to net about 50 or 60,000 after tax. And you're going to outlive your money because you're only earning three and a half. That's the problem. People will outlive their money. So not only does the average American not have enough, they're going to outlive their money. I don't want you to suffer that way. So empower yourself, get serious about saving, but do it the right way. Accumulate your money tax-free, access your money tax-free, and ultimately when you pass away, leave behind more to your spouse and your heirs tax-free. It will knock the socks off of any IRA or 401k and I can prove it to you. That's why I want to gift you a copy of this book. Now, this retails for 20 bucks. Uh, I'll pay for the book. If you go to laserfund, L-A-S-E-R, fund.com and contribute a nominal amount towards the shipping and handling, I'll cover the rest of that cost and I'll pay for the book. This is 300 pages of information, charts, graphs, explanations, and 62 actual client stories. It's actually a left brain side and a right brain side if you like to learn by stories. So claim your free copy of Laser Fund and get on the path to achieving financial independence so that you are in control and don't outlive your money.